what is saying? I am Modofopa Vicky James. I'm in town. Me will have for Moses and Mary's wedding. And of course, your girl has to slay. Na me pe obia, obeye me makeup, ne hair. Na me nimu da se, in Ghana, makeup artist also does hair. Eh? Eye mi wanwa, me se, abro me so kra. Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in. If you are new here, hi, welcome. You guys, I used to tell you that living in Ghana is addictive and even visiting Ghana is more addictive, you know. So I've talked about how addictive Ghana could be and sometimes when you say that, you begin to question yourself. Ah, am I not looking to people like I'm doing too much or something? but at the end of the day you see other people they can relate to what you are saying and it kind of bring back everything to like oh wow so now who are we talking about today i have two people that i want to talk about in this video like a nigerian guest speaking tree i want to talk about another person who wants to be a citizen of ghana this guy have been here before and i thought and then later he had an experience and i was so concerned i felt like maybe after that experience this guy wouldn't want to have anything to do with ghana but i was wrong the addiction is real so real this guy is back and this time he's fighting with some of my country people because they felt like he should have want to nationalize in nigeria instead of ghana but he is insisting is ghana or nowhere he is an american rapper his name is mcmill this is the third video of me talking about that guy because i think a lot of things that he does in ghana a lot of his experiences in ghana i could relate and he's that kind of person that just be out there with how he feels and i could relate when someone is like that <laughs> The first time he was in Ghana, we saw videos of him everywhere, riding on a motorbike, going about, putting on a singlet and just enjoying and feeling at home. Then, just while we were still on that, something happened. He had his mobile phone stolen, or would I say misplaced, but in this case stolen because the police were able to track and discover that phone right here in Ghana. Now, he left Ghana and came back again. To come and continue his addiction and then this time around he got into trouble he got into political trouble in ghana and it's not something i wish anybody my dear you see ghanaians are nice so nice and they will all come together to show you love because they are a foreigner that loves their country but you see you do not want to get into their political space charlie then go dislike you then go tell you things when go hurt you and that is why i don't want to get into the politics of ghana because in my country i used to get into the political space of my country i know the woto woto that i used to get <laughs> but those wotos i could return them because it's my country you can't tell me to go to anywhere because i got nowhere to go i have this this is my home so here if you don't want to hear go back to your country stay away from politics so this guy was overjoyed with his addiction for ghana so he was everywhere he thought he was at his grandfather's house how did his village people even with the fact that he's an american he's not supposed to have a village people right his ancestral village people followed him and he went to film a music video at the Savgad house. Savgad? <laughs> hey, hold on, let me check the pronunciation, Charlie, before my Ghana people kill me here. Went to film a video at the government house in Ghana. This guy had the nerve to film a music video. The video wasn't just displaying the exterior, it was also showing the interior of the powerhouse of Ghana. And that didn't sit well with with many Ghanaians, especially the opposition parties. Hey, they came for this guy, nyama nyama like nyafu nyafu. They came for him so bad that I even made a video defending him. Because why not? This is a stranger who had no idea, who is overly excited. This is someone who is back to his continent a continent where he, he does not need to explain his skin color to anybody he does not have to say i'm a good person it doesn't matter i know i'm black but i'm nice he is back home to 
where he believes his great grandparents definitely had you know come from so he's careless and everywhere and he don't i don't think he even know about the opposition parties uh, in ghana so definitely i believe every ghanaian that he has come across have shown him natural love so he didn't know his boundaries so he forgot his boundaries and was everywhere with these videos and a lot of people didn't like it now i thought you know seriously i thought after the whole thing he anyways he apologized deleted the video but i thought that maybe after that experience he wouldn't want to have anything to do with ghana i was wrong charlie this time he does not just want to have anything to do with ghana he wants to be ghanaian he want to be Ghanaian, so I saw it on Instant Block Nigeria because some people were telling him he's not supposed to be wanting to be a Ghanaian citizen. He should have gone to Nigeria because that is where the Afrobeat is happening. So why the choice of Ghana? And he was just defending his reasons for wanting to, you know, be a citizen of Ghana. It's a good thing. You know, you need people. Seriously, it's a good thing. It's a good thing for Ghana and Ghanaians. This guy the first time he visited he talked about he talked about him wanting to own a house in ghana so hmm, another win now for those who sees black america always make their way to ghana they go to other countries don't get me wrong like the gambia they go to nigeria even though the ones in nigeria are not really on youtube that much but so many black americans do go to nigeria now for those who be wondering so why are they choosing ghana why do we have majority of the black americans coming back to ghana why come on this is not hard to explain ghana was the country where every single black american you see today at some point stepped their foot to ghana the ones that were brought in from Nigeria through the seas, the ones that were brought in from Togo, Benin, Cameroon, from Ivory Coast, from all the black countries, Guinea, all the black countries in Africa, and to Portugal and also to America, they made their way to Ghana first. The step here, this is the last black country this is the last black nation they set their foot to last before they left the shores of africa for good it's it's a normal thing for them to always want to come here i have interviewed black americans in the past on here where they tell me oh i saw it in a dream or a voice spoke to me it kind of baffles me when some people doubt them like what, don't you think it's possible they always want to come to Ghana because Ghana is their home spiritually. Every black American, they always want to come back to Ghana because every black American was a Ghanaian before they became American. They were Ghanaian and that is true. They are ancestors all the slaves that were taken from different parts of africa different parts of west africa especially were all transported to ghana and shipped from ghana here to the west i close my case on that i hope that you understand now let's move to this beautiful nigerian now let's talk about vicky james and why we are all in shock that vicky james is speaking to fluently hello ghana for moho to say hey i'm a vicky james i'm in town me will have for moses and mary's wedding and of course your girl has to slay now me pe obia obeya me makeup ne hair now me nimu da se in ghana makeup artist also does hair eh and yeah, me one one. Me say, I brought me so cra. Too much talent. Me near jam one kasa. Monsha Annie, my beautiful makeup artist and hairstylist, ewa Ghana. Oti ejumano asiye and kasa. Mamenka awa sembin tremo. Me di Ghana jalof enra. No krenye. Eye de papa. But I know you guys want me to compare Ghana Jalof to Nigerian Jalof. Hey hey. Enyene munjaime. So as I was saying, no, me ponko pentem. I cannot wait for today. As you can see, me num na ye fe sisiya. Enne, I will make the heavens proud of my own fei. Afei mo can treme. Mo pedi emu huyana. Me domo be bre Ghana for speaking to you like these and here i am wondering why is this video not trending because if vicky james had come to ghana 
eat jollof rice and condemn it or simply say Ghana men are not her choice. I believe I would have seen videos of people reacting to those videos. I believe I would have seen tons of videos reacting to that video. So Vicky was in town and she spoke to me fluently. She spoke to me like a Ghanaian. She spoke to me so well and it is so, so, it sounds incredible. I am proud of her and I am ashamed of myself. And she said so many things. What did she say? Interpret. If you can write it. I won't be reading such a long comment anyways. But you can write there. Maybe someone else who is looking for how to do you know someone else can come read them maybe i'll read the first few lines yeah so for those who will be looking at it like some nigerians do not have respect for other african countries it's not all nigerians so vicky is a southern and and i have always talked about south south i mean i've always talked about southern nigeria and how easy the people are when it comes to blending with everybody and anybody yes i know we are not the easiest to deal with especially when you want to show over sabi you want to tell a southern and that he or she is not smart that is where you have issues with them otherwise they are the easiest to deal with they are just peaceful and easy going humble all these reason of show that you can't see you had very hard to see a southern and that would do that and Vicky has proven that she, I don't know how she learned she, maybe she was there before or, you know, because she sounded like one of her parents is Ghanaian. One of her parents is definitely Ghanaian. One of her parents should be Ghanaian for her to be able to speak like that. But I don't think they are because she has always stated it that she's from a Ibom state, the south, south part of Nigeria. So you guys, these are also addicts just like me. So I'm not the only addict in Ghana. Ghana addicts, eh? I feel like changing this journey to Ghana addicts. What do you guys think? Ghana addicts. Ghana addicts. Will this sound nice to you? <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed it. And I'm done on this. I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.